Good morning. Welcome to Motivational Monday, where I'm not sure if I'm going to motivate you at all or not. But I have got something that I want to say. Um, you're going to see a series of videos coming up on this channel soon. And we are going to be speaking about the flaw with the law of attraction and what it can do. I'm sorry, this is a wiggling about my um, tripod has stopped working. So with the law of attraction, they teach you to be, do, have, whatever you want. And I don't disagree with that. I don't disagree with that at all. Yes, you can be, do, have, whatever you want. But do you actually know what you want? And is it all about striving to make yourself have the most fantastic life? I think this is where the secret goes slightly wrong. I believe if you listen to Abraham Hicks, ask and it is given. Um, they say in there, the meaning of life is joy. And what makes you feel joyful? Is it about having the biggest car? Is it about the, the most expensive house, traveling the world? Is it all these sorts of things that people attach that feeling with? Or is it about bubble baths and frothy coffee and watching the world go by? Because we are all different. But I've spent the last well, probably nearly all my life, but the, certainly the last, since 2009, I discovered the law of attraction. I spent that time thinking, must cram everything in, must have the most amazing life. And I'm anxious because I make myself do things that's really out of my comfort zone. And I used to be an advocate for that. I used to say, you know, go out of your comfort zone. But at the minute, sometimes being in your comfort zone is what makes you happy it makes you feel you're in your flow it makes you in the vortex and that's where you manifest great things <sighs> have you ever watched any interviews with people like um, jk rowling for example she has this air about her this calmness but she's an anxious person she hates the limelight so does el james who wrote 50 shades those are probably the two most popular modern day writers that you'll come across. And when, when um, JK was writing the last Harry Potter book, she took herself off to Edinburgh to a hotel to sit and write. And that's exactly what I've done, come in here. Uh, the writing is flowing. The writing is amazing. It's brilliant. But I'm missing my family and my frothy coffee and my comfy bed and my routine i'm shocked that this stuff is coming out of my mouth because i've been such a creature of adventure for so long but it's wearing me down and i think this trip which you'll see coming up was designed for me to figure out what's going on i'm going to share some personal stuff with you guys in a minute as well but i want you to listen about the law of attraction i'm sorry that i'm upset the law of attraction is wonderful but make sure it's making you happy if you're pushing and pushing and pushing and doing too much and making yourself unhappy then that's not what the law of attraction is designed to be it's not about being having big things um it's about having the things that you want. So figure out what it is you want and listen within. Don't sort of think, oh, if I get that Jaguar, that will really impress, let's say Porsche, because Jaguar's an animal as well. If I get that Porsche, that will really impress the neighbours. Who cares, really? Because they're going to go like, oh, look, have you seen her car? And then they're going to carry on with their life. They're not going to think about you again for the rest of the day and you've just you know put in 70 hours a week to afford to pay for this Porsche that then is making you feel worn down and unhealthy and miserable you're going to re resonate with this I know you are um that's the problem with the law of attraction or with the secret I should say if you watch Abraham Hicks or listen to Abraham Hicks it's far more about thoughts do become things but you need those thoughts to resonate with you as a person is that is that making sense so 
for me there's a dream there still is that dream actually of building a timber frame building house but if that's going to mean that i've got to paint that and that's going to really mess up my fingers more than they already are um then i'm going to be in pain and then i'm going to be a bit grumpy and then it's going to have a knock-on effect that's a really good analogy um whereas if i'm staying i don't know somewhere that i can afford and i don't have to do all them things I don't have that stress, I don't have that worry, I might be a little bit more carefree and then the people are going to come into my life who are also resonating with that rather than being grumpy and having a row with your other half because you're grumpy. Um, I think it's about being a bit more peaceful and we're going to go a lot deeper on this channel now so if you're up for that please make sure you've got your notifications on with your subscription and all the rest of it because we're going to go there I'm not just going to be law of attraction, thoughts become things. I'm not going to be that person. We're going to go deep into metaphysical, into analysing things, people, yourselves, into making life how it needs to be, how it should be, how it spiritually should be. Because thoughts do become things, we know that. It isn't about having the biggest and best of things because that might have a detrimental effect on other things. And I'm, I know that's going to make sense with you guys. So the reason I'm looking a bit of a mess and a bit of a scruff bag is um, because that's, well, that's just the way I'm rolling today. But let me tell you something. I took a call a couple of days ago, which I don't want to use the terminology. It's devastated me, but I do feel slightly devastated about it. Um, I have got to start a new medication. Sorry for him snoring. Look at him. This new medication is going to knock out my immune system. If you're familiar, it's called Biologix uh, or Damards. And what that does is it stops my body from attacking itself because it's attacking my gut, my gastrointestinal tract. It's attacking my joints, um, loads of other things. I've got inflammation going on throughout my body and we need to try and get rid of that. There are risks attached to having this medication and I've tried for so long to do it holistically you know sleep diet exercise health happiness zen and uh, i feel like i've failed but what if i start to feel better fingers crossed i might so i'm on a bit of a journey now with my health and i don't want to harp on about it too much on this channel because this is supposed to be upbeat and lifting but i've got to try and frame that in a way that i'm grateful for this illness because it means this you know it means i get to sit down and be a writer rather than running around being a waitress which is you know i've done that sort of thing for many years and it's been hard it's been hard on the body and um yeah it's not where i want to be at anymore so if you're here for that and you want to support me with that brilliant i hope so um, I'll keep you posted about all that, but I also will probably be doing it as comments things on, on here. So, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know how to end this video, but I feel things are changing regarding the law of attraction and me and the secret and motivational Mondays. Um, I love you all so much and appreciate you for being here. Thank you. Um, I hope you're with me on this journey into happiness and peacefulness and you know that is what life's about it's about being happy so let's go for it bye for now